Hi everyone, this is of course your one and only PSGD brought to you by the power of PlayStation and a Share Factory. And today I would like to take a look at Stealth 2 from the PlayStation Plus freebies of August. Essentially from what I can gather, and I've only played about 15 minutes of this game, it is a game about clones and you basically have to escape from a clone laboratory and on the way out free as many of your clones as possible. Now, when Stealth 2 was offered via PS Plus, it was offered to your Vita, to your PlayStation 3, and to your PlayStation 4. So in terms of value, I think it is fantastic for the month of August, and being able to get this game across all those three platforms is very beneficial. But who cares about value, right? Let's move along a little bit and talk about some of the gameplay. To be honest with you, very, very simple. I sort of didn't really know what was happening in the early stages of this game and how things worked, but I think it kind of worked in my favor in terms of that, because I didn't know what was happening or how to play it, I got more and more intrigued about it. When you play some of these platformers, it's pretty easy to tell where you need to jump and how you need to get there. And the one thing that I found with Stealth 2 was just that I wasn't really sure where to go or what I could jump onto or how to get there. Like, you can't easily work out what you can hold onto. It's a, it's a little bit of a guess while you're playing it. And maybe that's because I haven't played a platformer in a while, but that component of it sort of made it interesting for me. And I wanted to keep playing because I wanted to work out how to play this particular game. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is this has some really cool puzzles in it. And you have to kind of think about how you solve those puzzles and they're not really conventional like I took a couple of minutes to sort some of them out but it adds that extra layer of depth to the game which it probably makes it more interesting because it's not just a platformer. So to sum it all up I think it looks good it has a good soundtrack it's free for this month so you don't have much longer to get it you can play it on your PlayStation 3 or your PlayStation 4 or your PlayStation Vita it also has a very simple control scheme. It's literally jump is X and to sort or to engage in puzzles, it's like square. This is a really, really simple game to play. Pretty enjoyable. Download or not download, go download it. And on that note, I must get going. Thank you very much for your time and your support. And as always, until next time, enjoy your PlayStation gaming.